It's Wednesday, June 19th, and the International Space Station crew members are busy taking care of the systems on board their vehicle, while also unloading a new shipment of supplies and preparing for next week's spacewalk. Today, Commander Pavel Vinogradov and Flight Engineer Alexander Mazurkin kicked off the day installing a docking mechanism in the Progress ship that's now attached to the aft end of the pier's docking compartment. That's in preparation for the undocking of that Progress ship coming up in late July. Vinogradov moved on to maintenance of the toilet in the Russian Zvezda module and spent the rest of his day in other routine upkeep activities, plus, of course, his daily exercise. All of the station crew members spend a couple of hours each day working out. That's to maintain their overall physical fitness and to fight off the weakening effects of their prolonged exposure to the weightless environment. Mazurkin, for his uh, rest of his day, moved on to uh, join his colleague Fyodor Yurchikin for some communications checks on the Orlan spacesuits that they'll be wearing during Monday's Russian spacewalk. They spent the rest of their day verifying the operation of other systems of that Orlan suit, those Orlan suits, uh, also studying the flight procedures and installing tools, lights, and uh, U.S. helmet cameras on their uh, personal spacecraft. They'll be going out the door next Monday, starting about 8.35 in the morning Houston time. They're going to replace a fluid control valve panel on the Zarya module and install clamps there that will hold cables that will one day bring power from the U.S. section of the station to the new Russian laboratory module when it arrives later this year. During the spacewalk, the crew members will also be removing and installing experiments on the outside of the Zvezda module. Monday's EVA will be the first in Alexander Mazurkin's career. It will be the sixth spacewalk for Fyodor Yurchikin. Flight engineers Luca Parmitano and Karen Nyberg joined their Russian colleagues for the study of spacewalk flight procedures this morning after spending much of their morning working with flight engineer Chris Cassidy to unload the automated transfer vehicle. The European Space Agency provided vehicle delivered more than seven tons of cargo to the station this past Saturday afternoon. Along with breaks for their daily exercise, the crew members spent their morning unpacking the payload, which includes science experiments and other hardware, as well as air and water and propellant for the station's thrusters. In the afternoon, Parmitano began a setup of experiment hardware that was just delivered on the ATV. The European Space Agency experiment called Fundamental and Applied Studies of Emulsion Stability, or phases, studies the characteristics of emulsions, which is usually two liquids that don't mix well together. They're looking at emulsions in microgravity in order to model the dynamics of the interaction of those two components with the expectation that those models can be transferred to industrial applications on Earth as well as applied to materials that will be used by future space travelers. Chris Cassidy and Karen Nyberg also had time set aside today to talk with students at the Kansas Cosmosphere about their mission and what it's like to be on board the station, using this opportunity to share their space flight with a lot of folks on the ground who don't get to make the trip. The Expedition 36 crew members plan to spend more time unpacking the ATV through the rest of this week and completing the spacewalk preparations before Monday's EVA while also turning more of their attention to the laboratory science that's underway throughout this orbiting outpost.